Hi everyone and welcome back to another Flex episode. My name is Jeanette Dierkaert and today we will be doing a body weight workout like we always do. So we are going to do body weight for our arms. We're going to work on our arms a bit on our upper body. So that includes your abs, your arms, your back, everything. We're not going to focus on the legs today, on the lower body. But yes guys, maybe we'll just bring it in just to get our heart rate up. But that will be it. So do stay tuned for the warm up. Okay, we are back for the warm up guys. So as I mentioned, we're going to work on our upper body. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get our arms warmed up. What I want you to do, lateral raises right now. So you're going to stretch out or you're going to have your arms to the side and you're just going to pulse it. Okay, so you're going to pulse it for 30 seconds guys and then we're going to switch it over and flip our wrist and then we're going to pulse it the other way around as well. So you have, there you go. So just pulse it, you can go faster or you can just keep it as is. You can also add a twist if you want to by rotating the arms anti-clockwise and clockwise, forward and backwards. But we're just going to pulse it a bit here. If you had a 1 kg weight, you can also bring that in the mix. And then we're just going to flip our wrist and pulse it from the other side. What you can do is to just close your, um, your fist guys and then we go for it okay so i see our timer is stuck there a bit we can just loop it that would be amazing so let's just twist it or oh, not twist it guys just continue pulsing and then we're gonna go and we are gonna bring it up so now you're gonna have it like this i want you to constantly have your abs contracted you are actually engaging your glutes you're engaging your abs and you're pulsing upwards so you're having your arms in a so you're just bending your arms in 90 degree angles and you're still gonna continue pulsing okay and now then after that three two one we're gonna work on our triceps so now we're pulsing the arms again but we're flexing that triceps and we're engaging our abs we're engaging everything that we have to engage. If you guys also want to engage that glutes, go right ahead. And what helps with your form is when you engage your abs. So then you're not gonna slouch your back. You're not gonna have bad form. So by engaging your abs, you're also making sure that your back is straight. All right, awesome stuff, guys. And now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna swing it out a bit, stretch out those shoulders. Then we're gonna go and start um, and then we're gonna start working on our abs, getting our abs warmed. But let's just first relax our shoulders, get rid of that tension. You don't want any tension while you're doing any of these movements. Six and five, four, three, two, and one. Now abs, bring it up guys, and twist it. So you're twisting while you're doing it. If you, know, if you don't want to put a twist in it, then you're just going to stand straight, slightly tilting to one side, and knee to elbow. If you want to bring in that twist, you can go right ahead and do that as well. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side again, tilt a bit, and let's bring it up. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna put, you know, have the twist in, then you're just gonna go straight and bringing it up. But we want to have that twist so that we can engage our oblique muscles and just engage all our ab muscles, guys. So there you go, you go for the twist. And five, four, three, two, and one. Great stuff. So now what you gotta do, you're gonna bring up that legs 
So now we're going to try and engage lower abs right here. Bring up that legs and then what we're going to do is that we're going to go into the last 15 seconds high knees guys. So there we go. And 10 seconds left. So you continue contracting your abs. This is after all an upper body workout. Three, two and one. Great stuff. Now we're going to lift that leg. Okay. And you're just going to touch your knee and not your knee. Sorry, touch your toes as you're doing this. Also getting it twisted. Let me stand to the side so that you can see. All right. So constantly contracting the abs, five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. So now we're just going to repeat some of the arm workouts again, or the arm warm-ups. So now we're just going to pulse it all over again. There we go. 15 seconds left. 13. 10 seconds, we're not gonna twist it or rotate it. We are gonna go into the next movement, two and one. Bend your elbows. So now you're gonna really try and engage your shoulders. You're gonna try and engage that back as well. So constantly contracting and continuing. Okay, 15 seconds left. Remember, contract. That abs, I don't want to see, uh, I don't want to see you slouching or I don't want to see your abs not contracted. Two and one, here we go. Let's quickly check it out guys and then we're going to go into the workout. Then we're going to start working out our arms and our abs. We're just going to do it all. Okay, but what we're going to do, what you're going to need for this one, you will be needing a chair. We'll just be doing some ab movements and working on our arms using your chair. So this is gonna be not too difficult. We're gonna assist. We're gonna have assisted workouts using the chair. So guys, that is the warm up. I will see you all in the workout. guys so today as I said we're gonna work out with our chair so grab your chair have it ready as you're going and what we're gonna do we are just gonna go into a tricep dip first so we're gonna start off with a bit difficult movements so that we can just get our arms ready and not tire it out too much when we have to go into the difficult workout so tricep dip guys have 90 degree angle with your legs and then go down okay so you are going to use this to work on the triceps and to work on all the flabbiness that you have in your arms and you're still going to keep that back straight and continue six five four three two and one here we go now guys we are going to go into a push-up using your chair again this is a great modification if you're starting out and if it's too difficult to do a correct push-up so you can have this in different ways you can have your arms here which you'll go into an automatic wide push-up okay so this one is for my beginners guys we are working on our strength right here if you want to work on that tricep push-ups you are just going to bring you're going to twist that arms okay that's going to obviously be a bit uncomfortable but you're just going to bring it in a bit closer and you're going to come down okay and then just going to push up from the chair because you have a lot of assistance right here so you're improving your strength and if you have a injury an arm injury then this is a great way to start 
Now we're gonna do, quickly sit on the chair right here, guys, and I want you to bring up that leg, okay? So flex that leg, flex that foot, and bring it up, constantly contracting, okay, contracting that ab muscles, and just keeping it real tight there. This is a great assisted workout, but obviously your leg is still gonna be very heavy, but try and bring it up as far as you can go. Flexing that foot and bringing it up. So you're getting in a leg workout right here as well. Working on the quadriceps, but still continuing to contract your abs. Keeping that abs, abs tight throughout. And remember guys, abs get made in the kitchen. So if you wanna see that clear defining shape, and be sure to eat right as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, it's gonna stand a bit. Um, you're gonna stand at your chair and you're gonna bring in those legs, okay? You're gonna contract it and point your toe as you extend it, okay? So let's just bring it up again and point and extend. So try and bring it up, but keep Pointing your toe and other leg real quick, guys. There we go. So remember to keep everything as straight as you can to constantly contract your abs. This is also a great bar workout just to work on your abs while you're at it. All right, so not too difficult and not too easy. Five, four, three, two and one okay so now what we're going to do right now we are going to continue working on our arms okay so leaving the chair there for a bit what i want you to do is arm rotations so you're going to keep it all in a fist right here and you're just going to rotate it then we're going to rotate it back so for, for you to actually feel this you have to do it longer than 30 seconds. Let's say you do it for two minutes, you'll definitely start feeling this in your shoulder. Okay, so now you're gonna just rotate backwards. So clockwise and anti-clockwise. So just keeping it there, guys, and rotating your arms. So today we're really taking it slow with this one. We're not going too hectic, but I want you to, to, to just focus on your arms okay there we go two and one awesome stuff so now what i want you to do is let's push away this chair a bit right there then you're gonna go down for me real quick okay so when you're gonna go down here we're gonna go into a modified push-up so we started with that strength push-ups there increasing our strength improving our strength and now we're just gonna go into another far, another modified push-up. But with this one, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. So I want you to go down. So we're going from strength to strength. We're growing, going from what you can handle to what you can handle a bit. And then obviously pushing your body and not pushing it too much though, but just enough to be better than, all, than you were yesterday, all right? So, eight seconds left, guys. Try and keep your form constant while you're at it. And there we go. Awesome stuff. So now we really want to work on that abs as well, which is very important. So I need you to just bring in a twist. So, mountain climbers, no. This is mountain climbers with a twist. Literal, a literal twist, guys. So just twist it and bring it up. No modification for this one. Two and last one. There we go. So now what I need you to do again right here is just sit for me. Now we're gonna do some Russian twist. So you're gonna bring up that legs and you're gonna twist it from one side to the other, okay? 10 seconds left. So, just go for it. If you need extra support, then you can always have your legs down. Try 
bring one up okay there we go so now what we're gonna do we're gonna use that chair a bit so you're gonna lie down on your back all right so if you have a mat use your mat guys we're gonna have our legs up on the chair I want you to come a bit closer okay and bring it up okay so this is just a bicycle with your legs elevated so you really want to have elbow to knee you want them to touch it touch each other okay bring it up let's go 15 seconds and 12 11 seconds 10 seconds guys you got this six five four three two and crunch it out there we go awesome stuff so now we're just gonna do one more ab movement right here so we're gonna do sitting crunches so you're gonna sit and you're gonna crunch it up again okay so have your arms to the side and you're gonna bring it up and in okay so you're just gonna sit and bring your legs up and you're gonna twist it as you go along working on your abs let's do this for another few seconds we have 20 seconds left okay so crunch it keep your abs engaged and that would help you with your posture to keep your back straight while you're at it so crunching it out guys and eight seconds left this is not too bad four three two and let's go last one one awesome stuff guys that brings us to the end of the first circuit we're not going to do a second one but you can always repeat the circuit i'll see you all in the cool down Alright guys, so we're back at it. We're going to do a quick stretch and then we're just going to enjoy our day further. So you're going to use your chair right here and what I want you to do, I want you to twist it out. So hold on to the back of your chair and you're going to twist. You want that stretch in your lower back, up into your back. I want you to just hold it there for a few seconds and then we're just going to keep it there. Not too difficult. Five, four, three two and one great stuff so now what i'm gonna do because i do not want to turn my back to you guys i'm gonna flip my chair and do with the other side again okay so hold it right there and keep it okay so you're stretching that back you're holding it at the top of your chair and holding it for a few seconds and eight seven six five four three two and one there we go so now still sitting on your chair i want you to hold on to the side and i want you to just hollow out your back and come up bring it forward it's like you're trying to bring it forward but you're also resisting you're hollowing out that back you really want to engage your shoulders your back get a nice hollow in that back guys seven six seconds five four three two and one awesome stuff again stretching out your um, legs a bit we're doing the stretches just to stretch so you can actually use your cool down and your stretches at the end of your workout to like just stretch the rest of your body parts because that is very important guys eight seven seconds left five four three two and one had a leg real quick we're not using these we didn't use them a lot but it's always important to stretch them out your lower back your legs I mean you use them every single day just to prevent yourself from not experiencing too much pain or too much tension okay so while you're pushing down on one leg you're also you know um, stretching out or actually just yeah, stretching out that muscle there at your groin 
just to have it working, all right? So now what I want you to do is sit a bit back into your seat and fall over and roll up and stretch out your arms. Okay, so fall down guys. Really feel it, come up, vertebrae by vertebrae and you're gonna stretch it out. Pointing that fingers, last one real quick. Sweeping your hands down the floor, bringing it up and stretching it out. Alrighty, let's just stretch that arms a bit again. So interlacing your fingers and holding it there. Coming down a bit, not too much though, falling down. You can also do all of this standing up, but that's not needed. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome stuff, guys. That brings us to the end of today's Flex episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I hope to see you all again next time. And that is it from me, Jeanette Dierkant and Flom from the Flex Studio. It is a bye for now, and remember to flex your muscles. Choose your Flex package with Paratus today. Sign up for ultra-fast fiber with the convenience of mobile LTE. That's two products in one bundle. It's new, it's one bill, and you can stay connected in more than one location. For more information, visit paratus.africa forward slash na.